It's High Noon with David. He's gone and fallen in love with Jesus and bringing boldness to the body of Christ. Here's David. Hi. Welcome to High Noon with David. Here to bring you a gift. Talking to two kind of people. Here to bring you the gift of boldness. I'm talking to those of you that already are believers. And those of you that are about to become believers. I'm talking about a rescue. I'm not talking about a religion. Not, not trying to get you to straighten up and fly right. But receive this rescue that was done for you by God. By sending his only begotten son to the earth. That, it, that if whosoever, and you're a whosoever, will believe in him. You'll not perish but have eternal life. Sharing about my life story uh, in this vlog daily, and and about you know growing up in this dysfunctional family, and of course my brother said we put the funk in dysfunctional, and uh, just just a lot of good times, but a lot of misery too, and just just being under stress and under pressure all the time. I don't live like that anymore. I found out that hanging out with Jesus simply. Hanging out with Jesus has a tremendous effect on your life. It's changed mine tremendously. I, my brother, I tell you, I've been like this onion, just one layer after another getting peeled off. And, and look, I, I feel you for your wounds and your hurts and the crap you've been through. But I'm telling you, there's a way out of that. There's a way out of living by that. There's a way out of living by your feelings and by your flesh. It's by renewing your mind to Jesus, to the Word, hanging out with Him, meditating, and not memorizing, but meditating in that Word. Oh, it'll have, it'll have a tremendous effect upon your life. So, here I am in a straight betwixt the two. Do I, do I listen about this speaking in tongues business or the expert with the doctor in front of his name that, I, that they sent to our church? Many, 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 many years ago to straighten us out. Speaking in tongues is of the devil. You say, boy, you got to bring it up, don't you? You're dead gum right. Because it's from God. It's of him. And whether you're ready for it or not, it don't make any difference. He's ready for you to be ready. <laughs> in fact, on the day of Pentecost, it wasn't, okay, everybody that's ready. No. Boom, yeah. Suddenly, the Spirit of God fell. I like those suddenlies. Woo Listen to me. So I started seeking God. I'll never forget. And I'm walking through the kitchen in our home there in Piggins. And my mom and bird grabbed me. And one was tickling me on the chin, hollering, hollering, let go. And the other one was hitting me in the back, hollering, hold on. I didn't know whether to hold on or let go. <laughs> and so I went Bobo show show just to get rid of them, get them to leave me alone. But what it did do, because the Baptist, the Southern Baptist Church, told me that God's Word is God talking to me from Genesis to Revelation. I started reading my Bible at night. I started sitting up to 3, 4, and 5 o'clock in the morning with my nightlight on. You say, whoa, 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 why'd you have to have, have, to have a nightlight on? I was scared the devil was going to get me. I didn't know that I could take authority over that sucker and stop him dead in his tracks and run him off have him fleeing away from me so anyway I started waiting on God I started reading those scriptures about speaking in tongues because I saw the profound effect it was having on my mother who'd go from cussing and screaming and throwing stuff and breaking the windows and making her smile and treating my dad like he was this angel that showed up even though he was drunk are oh, you listening to me Say this after me. Say, Jesus is Lord. Say, I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. Jesus loves you. Believe that and receive that and let Him change the stuff going on in your life. <laughs> Adios. See you tomorrow.